I'm not going to talk over too much of this because it's pretty self-explanatory. It starts out with a close-up of Comanche's nose. He lives to uh, upset the camera once I got it positioned, so I'm pulling him away from there as quick as I can. And he's um, just going to do some liberty work here. I'm asking him to pick up the pace of his roll back. Then he starts trotting, and when I told him to lope, so he's getting his first warning. He's getting a little bit saucy with me. I'm kind of putting up with it for a minute because I'd rather him be too close than when he gets too far away. But I'm finally telling him, you better get out of my space, buddy. There, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's asking for directions. Now we're working on the jump. When I filmed this, he was still pretty new. He used to trip over it when it was just on the ground, and now I've raised it, and uh, so I'm letting him sniff it and get a feel for it. He's been over it before with it raised like this, but he's still getting used to it. It's been a learning curve for him to see it and learn when to jump. His timing is improving. But this is all at liberty too. It was very easy to teach him to do this at liberty. 
um, I just started having him go in a circle around it and if he'd go around it instead of over it I would just say no and make him keep going and when he would go over it then I would bring him to a stop and, and tell him what a good boy he was and he figured it out right away when that jumps there we go over it not around it This is when he gets attacked by the uh, dust devil. I think he thinks I did it because he knocked over the pole, so he's going to try to fix things with me right away so I don't scare him with another dust devil, I guess. I'm just standing there. I'm not even turning with him. I'm just standing there laughing at this point. So then he goes over it, and he's so discombobulated, he just brings it down, but <laughs> that's okay. The first time over this jump he does okay and then I praise him and tell him he's a good boy and you can kind of see him puff up a little bit and he does a second jump much better with a lot more enthusiasm. It's kind of funny. Then he just does this last jump in the other direction and he does a good job.